It is my honor to now invite you to our mission moment. Uh, our mission moment today welcomes our sister in Christ, Janet Denise Kelly, who toils with love in helping young people elevate their lives through Sanctuary of Hope. Ms. Kelly is the founder and executive director of Sanctuary of Hope. It's a countywide organization which provides stabilization services for youth and young adults ages 16 through 25. Ms. Kelly serves on numerous youth service boards. She also has an online and in-person um, program of having conversations on youth's well-being. She also serves on numerous steering committees and holds memberships in local, national, state, excuse me, excuse me, local, state, and national organizations. Ms. Kelly is recognized and honored by many organizations, and I'm going to list just a few. She is honored by the Crenshaw Chamber of Commerce, the California Legislative Black Caucus, the Black Women's Collective Trailblazers and Leaders, the Southern Christian Leadership Conference, and the California Assembly District number 55. Ms. Kelly earned her Master of Business Administration degree from the University of Phoenix, and she earned her Bachelor of Arts degree from the, from the University of California, Los Angeles. Ms. Kelly is the, the loving and devoted mother of four children. I ask you, in the Holman fashion, to please welcome Ms. Janet Denise Kelly, founder and executive director of Sanctuary of Hope for our mission moment. Please. Thank you. First, I want to say thank you for allowing me to be here and to share with you all this morning. But I also want to thank you for your fellowship, your connection, your give back to Sanctuary of Hope. I can tell you there has not been a time where I have not called on a parishioner or, or a congregant here to be of service and of help, and it's always been a yes. And I just want to say thank you so much for that. Um, the work that I do is really centered around, and I'm not going to go into everything that Sanctuary of Hope does, does. We're right on the corner of 10th and Adams and we work with a variety of young people who may find themselves in a crisis, whether it's a housing crisis, an economic crisis, a family crisis. Our work is really designed, how do we help them stabilize to get back on their feet so that, so that they can realize their promise and potential. And that comes in various ways, whether it's through life coaching, to housing, to some form of financial assistance and preparation, um, to help them get on their feet, or even it's through leadership development or travel. But I think uh, really the work that we do is really around creating a lot of the people connections that our young people need. Uh, last night when I went to bed, I was inspired by the Book of Ruth because it came to me before I could lay down. And I was thinking of the story of Naomi and Ruth, and we all often get caught up in the relationship part of it. But don't think of really about the importance of care, connection, altruism, and being there for the long haul, right? Because when we are in service to others and of others, it's long haul work. And it's that selflessness, right, that is required to accept people, no matter who they are, where they come from on their path. And the story is definitely about faith, right? A walk of faith, a test of faith, being in a barren land, being thirsty. And it's interesting that the song came up, I Thirst For You, it's one of my favorites. But it's also about seeing what's needed, where Naomi had to see that Ruth, I mean, that Ruth had to see that Naomi could not go at life alone and that she needed to also have someone there to be shepherd. Naomi seeing that Ruth needed to have a connection 
for her future realization of her potential by meeting Boaz, right? And then the next part of that is shepherding in the next generation of leadership, whether it was King David, Solomon, and then finally the Messiah. So when I think about this, to, to kind of wrap it all up and close it all in together, hope and faith and works all work congruently, right? Whether it's helping someone to overcome, whether it's helping someone to see their potential so they could realize it or actualize it through the help and support of others. It's the connections that we, we, we create with one another. Um, one of the things that I wanted to share was, it was literally, I wanna say back in 2014 or 2015, we did a focus group with some young people and we asked them what their needs were. And of course, we all tried to have our own ideas or, or assumptions that it was going to be housing, education, and all these other things that would rise to the top. But what really rose to the top was young people saying that they needed people. They needed people to, they needed people to talk to. They needed people to listen to what they were saying. They needed people to see them and to be heard. But they also not only needed people for the mentorship, they needed those, they needed people for connections and they needed people for belonging. And as a part of mission and as a part of bringing folks in, that space of belonging becomes so important. And as I reflected back to on the Book of Ruth, it was not only the belonging and the connections, but it's that fervent, fervent holding on to faith that made everyone realize their very best. So I wanna thank you all